Before Mites, I never thought a school like MIT was possible. Um, I, I just thought I wasn't good enough. I thought that's for another tier of, of students. So after Mites, I realized, hey, there is another level that exists there and I can do it just like anyone else can. Sometimes uh, when you're an underrepresented student and depending on the environment that you grow up on, you're sort of used to having doors closed to you and you're not necessarily taught to knock on them incredibly hard or, you know, kick them down. And I think in MITES that's sort of like the feeling that the program has. MITE Minority Introduction Engineering was the initial name of it. The first uh, few years, were, the, the groups were small. It was, um, was a two-week program. They had uh, only had one day off, Sunday. About 1985 or so, I worked in the Office of Minority Education, and the then director had this grand idea to expand the MITE program to MITES, add an, add an S and add uh, four weeks. The students that come in leave it for confidence that they've never had before. They now believe that they can go to any of the top schools in the world and compete. It really changed my life. I didn't even know there were African-American students at a place like MIT. And being on campus, seeing the kind of projects they were in, having them as tutors, it really changed my life and expanded my love and interest in science and technology. The town I live in in California has a lot of gang problems and it's a predominantly Latino neighborhood. So there is a difference between the type of education you can get at my high school versus like the type of education that you can get at the high school down the road that is the white high school. I went to a public school in Raleigh, North Carolina and I was definitely one of the nerdier, so to speak, students in my classes. Um, but I also had the experience of being one of the few students of color in a lot of advanced math and science courses. And so coming to MIT did open my eyes to um, the possibility that there was something outside of North Carolina that could be a great fit for me. These are young people of talent and ambition uh, and can have a global impact, and will have a global impact. MITES is an elevator, a social and a career and an academic elevator uh, for a lot of students who attend schools that send less than 20 or 30 percent to four-year colleges and universities. They get this experience and it really transcends their belief about the possibilities. Well, I think it's a, a great history great history of problem which to build and a wonderful future ahead. There's no shortage of, of tough problems to solve in the world. And uh, I think we need to continue to have great pipelines like MITES for students to, to solve them. It's a very special program and it's done great things for 40 years and I expect it's going to do great things for another 40 years. And it's amazing to look at the body of work that we've, that we've done. People have founded companies, people are now becoming professors, becoming doctors. It's just such a talented group of people. I would love to see Mike's grow in incorporating technology into how it is that we teach uh, all of our curriculum, but I would also like for it to stay very close, very small, very personal, um, and just very Mike's.